Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you a presentation or a video on how to properly fire or load and fire a muzzle loading black powder rifle. Now this is a flintlock and it's a little bit different because in the Revolutionary War they used um, flintlock and this is suppression cap. And it's flintlock is a little bit different because it had a piece of a jagged piece of flint right here and it would hit a piece of metal the slide bar and it would shoot into the bottom of the barrel right here where there was an opening now percussion cap is a little bit better because if it gets wet it will still fire but flintlock won't so percussion cap is better but it was invented later on after the revolutionary war now the flintlock musket also known as the brown bread or the brown vest was first introduced in 1768. The musket was very common during the Revolutionary War and bayonets were on the uh, muskets and those were very common too for when you ran out of um, uh, a shot because it was only one shot at a time and it took about a minute and a half to do one shot but if you were skipping steps, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, you could shoot about two shots every minute and a half and that is if you're fighting for your life and um, getting shot at and stuff. Um, knives and tomahawks were also used for close-up combat and stuff, and they could throw the tomahawks at people and stuff. And um, swords are also known as hanger, as a short and broad sword used by infantrymen. And um, there were also sabers, which were heavy curved swords, and those were used or carried by officers and generals. And um, they were, they are. Also in the Revolutionary War, they used pole arms, which is pretty much a spear. It was a big, long stick that had a metal, a jagged metal edge that they would use, and they would stab people with it when they were in their formation. And um, I don't know. I guess I'll get started. Um, when you uh, do, when you use black powder, you have your powder measure, which is a little metal thing like this. Or you could have one made out of horn like this one. And um, this is what you use to measure the powder. This is a 60 grain powder measure. And um, you fill it up and you dump your powder in there. And uh, you put your percussion cap on the nipple and you pack it down and fire. So I'll show you. When you put your powder in, you want to hide your gun in an angle so all the gunpowder goes down to the bottom. And I keep my powder in a powder horn that uh, I made. And um, you just pour it in. And so you dump it in, put it in an angle. And then you have your ball that you keep here. It just looks like a little lead marble. And you put that there. And you also have a patch. Now, in the Revolutionary War, they didn't have patches like these because they weren't really invented then. What they would do is they'd take a piece of piece of cloth, a long strip that they would cut, and they'd take their knife and they'd cut it to the length that they'd want it, and then they that's what they would use for their um, their patch. Now, these are a little bit different. These are store-bought, and um, they're pre-waxed, and you take it and you set it on the barrel. You take it and you set it on top of the barrel and you want to get it pretty level with your ball and you take it and make it as even as possible push it down enough so it doesn't slide out and you have this which is called a ball starter and you take it and you push down like that and then you have this and you push down 
and that's so that you don't break your ramrod. And then you have your ramrod here, and then you push it down, and you want to push it down like that, and you want to get it packed down. But you don't want to pack it down too much because it'll crush the powder. And you just do that. And when you push it down with the ball, you don't want to push it like this because that'll lead, screw your barrel up. So you want to push it fast, down really fast. And then you have your nipple, and, or I mean your percussion cap. And it's best if you put it on half cock. That's full cock, so you put it on half cock. And you put your nipple on, but some guns you can't do that with. You have to put it on full cock, and that's kind of scary when you do it with that. You just take your little percussion cap, and you put it on. And right now, it's ready to fire. When I have it right here like this, if you pull the trigger, it goes. So I like to keep my finger on the hammer just in case I accidentally bump the trigger. And it's uh, ready to shoot. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot now. Cody? Shoot the water in front of you. That's how you uh, shoot it, and um, it uh, smokes quite a bit when you shoot. And uh, I didn't use the actual black powder. I used uh, it's uh, easier to clean up with water and stuff, but they use black powder and um, all those things. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's the end of my video. And this is my dad in the video, just to show you guys that. I had my dad with me to I, I approve this message. <laughs>